Ooh, okay, we're in. Whereabouts are we? We're in the lower right corner. Okay, that's fine. I'm not too familiar with this area, so that works. Let's switch to this. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I don't even know if this slows us down, but we're doing it. I'm going to head straight over there. That's going to be my best bet for finding any gear. I'm kind of drifting over this way, though. I'm getting quite low. All right, let's deploy the parachute. Bring it down nice and easy. There better be no wildlife here. Bears, wolves. <laughs> it's going to be a bad time all around. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> welcome back to Scum. This is the start of a brand new season with brand new characters. Now, I decided very last minute because I wanted to get going with this. I couldn't wait any longer. I'm going to play one of my favorite characters of all time. One of the most badass characters of all time. That is... This character right here, who I'm going to call Eli. You guys already know. Denzel Washington played a character called Eli in the Book of Eli, who I kind of model my characters off in Scum. And I just love the whole feel around that. I'm going to do like little tidbits from the movie too. My character's going to be looking for a book. And if we can find one, then I've got to transport it around. People have no idea the significance of this thing. I'm going to do a callback to some of the characters too. Mix people up in it so they kind of go along with what I'm saying. And... The entire time, spoilers if you haven't seen the movie by the way, my character's blind, but people don't know that. Now I was going to give myself some shades, but I decided against it. I really do want to find it all and trade up, seeing as that we've got like the traders in place. And as you guys know now, every single day we go on a loot run, it's going to mean something. Whatever we find, it's going to give me something. So it's super important now. I am running permadeath as ever whenever we do these seasons, so... If this character dies, I will be looking into the comments to see what you guys have said if we have to shuffle out for a new one. But expect all the new faces. I've just hopped on on my own today because I wanted to get this going. And at some point, I'm probably going to be joined by the other guys. I just don't know how we're going to do it yet because we don't like planning yet. But if it happens, it happens and then we'll roll together or we won't. We might be enemies. Who knows? Oh, that is not good. That's a wolf. Okay. <laughs> That's not what you want to see or what you want to hear. As soon as you've just landed, I'm going to break down some of these. Let's just get the basics done. Try and get somewhat of, of a backpack. That's close. That's like really, really close. Yep. I need to get away from that. There's definitely two of them over there. I heard them growling. I don't know if it was at someone or... They heard me in the area and they were disturbed. Yeah, no, let's just get away from it. If you are wondering what the settings that we've got on the server right now, everything is cranked. The undead are everywhere as always. We have mechs active. And we, we're still kind of messing around with some things, but nothing major, like just, you know, little tweaks and things. So everything you see right now should be what we're going to see throughout the entirety of this season. Unless, obviously, there comes like some kind of update from the devs. But yeah, this is it. <laughs> we're in it. You guys know how these part ones go. I've got to try and get at least something which is going to keep me going. Oh, also, I know this has changed and I have to get used to it. When you eat the aloe... I've never really noticed, but... Yeah, look, it says it tastes funny. I don't remember it saying that before. But it does give me a little bit, just enough not to upset my stomach, and I can keep moving if I'm in an emergency like that. Right, search. I'm sure we get something from these. I could have swore that when I uh, when I searched those before the cactus, it gave me something. Like a, a prickly pear, but I haven't seen it in forever. Right, let's try this one again. I'm just going to do another one. Yeah, okay, we didn't find it. How far off to that town now we are the city on the edge yeah i'm not i'm not too familiar with this area but i'm not totally uh, opposed to staying in an area like this which is kind of out of the way we've got an airfield nearby give me another aloe just want to know if i can attempt to upset my stomach i see what i can get away with don't really want to be throwing up though none of them gonna have them there we go right eat that one tastes funny but we're good though right Okay, yeah, food repulsion. So we're not all the way up, and it's in recovery too, so it's not that bad. It gives us a little something. 
Hopefully we're out of range of where those wolves were. But yeah, I, I want my character to look a specific way. I think you guys know what look I'm going for. In terms of like vehicles and stuff, I absolutely want a cruiser. I want that motorbike. I definitely, definitely want to use that with Eli. We're going to rock the shades. We're going to get the shemag, the long green raincoat. Obviously, we're going to get the uh, the Fusta Machete, or what people are calling the Fuschetti as well. <laughs> I've seen it, guys. Even people on the server are using it, too. I don't know who coined that, but <laughs> I guess it's going to be a thing. Uh, we're going to get the normal size backpack, too. Obviously, I'm going to switch all of these out, but just for, like, character roles and stuff, that's how I want the character to look. And the question is, are we going to be alone here? Because I don't have a weapon. I had to get out of the way because of those wolves were coming in. So I'm not really prepared. Let's just take a second and get some stuff. Ooh, some olives. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of you guys. It's kind of 50-50 since the last time I asked this question. I'm going to ask it again because it's been a minute. How many of you guys like olives? And it can be any of them. I know a lot of people were saying stuffed olives are, are amazing. And some people were saying, what are you talking about? It's disgusting. How dare you even ask me that question? I get it. Okay. My item got destroyed. What item got destroyed? Let's just get rid of that for now. We put that one on our backs. And I guess with this one, I'll just make a normal spear. Just for the sake of having it. I wanted one that was a little bit stronger. And I think the stone spear is a little bit stronger. But for the sake of time, let's just make the normal wooden spear. Because I really want to get some heat. want to get a fire going. Somewhere where we can wait out the night time. I'm going to make this stone axe head too. Because I'm probably going to need to chop a couple of trees down to get a fire started. There's a little supermarket here. Which I'm just hoping nobody's been through. So I can pick through it and hopefully get a little bit of food while I'm uh, while I'm sat around the fire too. What else do we need for an axe? What's this one? Big axe. That one takes some rope and stuff. Yeah, no, I don't think I need that. Let's just go for the basic one. Long stick and some rope. Can I not craft that? Right, there we go. Okay, so I know what you guys are going to say. <laughs> Probably a bad idea using this, right? <laughs> no doubt. But... I want you guys to see what's going on in the video. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult to see with this. So, let's take a look inside. If we get any of those things asleep, there's usually one right there. Ooh. There's a hunter there. Oh, Sawed off. Oh, that's perfect. Eli uses a sawed off. That's what I wanted to find. I was actually just going to buy one at the traders. Before we actually go in there... I'm going to take a look up on the roof because I have been lucky in the past when I've done this. Not a lot of people seem to check. There's nothing in the area. No. All right. Let's get down. Should be okay. Yep. That could have been bad. Right. Taking hands. I see some beans. Which is nice. Open this up. Close. I am going to be quite, like, not really trustworthy with people. You know how Eli is. I'm going to put my own spin on it, obviously, but... I'm, uh, I'm going to be very wary of people. I'm definitely taking that. Not so sure about that. But having said that, I'm probably going to find so much ammunition now. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Place you in there. Do I need the fire drill? I'll probably keep it on me for now just to make the fire with, which I've got planned. What's that? Some beer we can celebrate once we get the fire going. Everything can be used as a pick-me-up. Especially in a situation like... Oh, that's going to help. I know it's not a big deal, but I can't wait for them to add the fact that we can write things or potentially add the fact that we can write things on paper. Just leave notes for each other to find. Can you imagine how creepy that would be? <gasps> It'd be so good. I'm going to sacrifice this spear for the shotgun. I know it's 37, but I really, really want it. Right, how are we looking with that? Is it on our back? I don't know why, but the shotgun feels, or at least the sword off. It feels like it's lower down than it used to be. That might be for, like, placement with the backpacks, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Either way, that is a good find. Now, I don't remember if I can open this stuff unless I have a can opener. Maybe with the uh, the improvised stone knife. Do these work? Can I do anything with them? No. Oh, what are the numbers? Emergency number, SOS, 112, police. What's that? 192, ambulance 194, and fire 193. Imagine if you could get these working and it actually called payphones around the island. There's so much. Honestly, there's so, so much you can do with scum. There really, really is. Right, what we got here? First house. Give me all the goodies. Oh, it's quite open. What's this? Parsnip? Is it good? 64. We're going to try it. Could use a bite to eat. 
can't imagine what this tastes like. I don't actually know what a part, like a raw parsnip would taste like. It's so interesting now knowing that. Oh, okay, right. Let's. Yeah, no, 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 no. Let's just get out of there. Oh, they can go straight out. Window. We're good. There's absolutely one in here. There always is. Let me just put this down on the floor for a second. And I'm gonna get ready with the spear. Yep, there it is. Let's do this. Our first one. Oh, he's down. Whoa. Try and get those headshots. Let's keep hitting. I don't actually know how much stronger this one is than the normal spear. It might not be. Come on, go down. The sooner we find ourselves that machete, the better. That's Eli's go-to, and it has become mine as well. All right. I got to make sure that I do search them as well. A lot of you guys were saying in the previous videos, and since then I've been told, I wonder if they sell for a lot, that I should search them because it helps with awareness. Let's just make sure this entire place is clear. Some hiking boots. That's a nice find. And, oh yeah, let's just put them on right now. Equip. And I don't know why there's a weird thing right now. Even if you've got stuff in your backpack, especially this one, it might just be me. But things have been replaced with these shoes. So just keep an eye out for that if you're playing. Like, if you randomly have these in your backpack, it's because it's replaced them. So far, so good. Some hiking boots, a little bit of food. Ooh, some cash too. We absolutely need to hold on to that now. Is there any soap? I imagine that might sell for a little bit. Not that much in here. I've got to check this too. You never know. Metal pipe. I'm only going to take things that I really want to hold on to at the minute. Right, let's just pick this back up. Okay, I'm happy with that. I know there's other areas for me to check, but I want to try and make sure that I'm using my time wisely as well. I am going to try and get a campfire going, rest through the night, and loot through the day. It's the safer option. <laughs> I don't want to be going through these buildings at night time. Or at least exploring. This actually isn't a bad spot either. It's got the back to another 17. It's got my back to the water here. Why is that? Oh, it's just the back of a building. Still get really, really spooked playing this. You'll just move into a room and there'll be one of them lay down on the floor. <laughs> it's not what you want. All right, let's check this. Come on, give us something like clothing. Perfect. Perfect. That's what we want. I would prefer the green one, but I will absolutely take the red one. I'm not really in need of a mask. I was going to rock one, but yeah, I don't think I will. Just the shades and the uh, and the shemag. Just like he wears in the movies. Yeah, no soap. I'm definitely going to hold on to that if we can get hold of it. Right, let's go upstairs. Check this next level out. Then I think what we're going to do is throw together a fire eat our parsnip and get some rest until daytime. There's no sense moving around at night time. <sighs> you gonna wake up or did we just catch that in time? I think we might have got lucky with it. We do get a question quite a lot, which is what settings am I running? I run everything on Epic apart from motion blur. I turn the cloud I turn the clouds down because that seems to have helped and I haven't been running DLSS because there's this weird, like, motion blur effect on it, but you definitely, definitely get more frames with that. Or at least that's uh, that's what I've found on other people I've been playing with. So if you are wondering about, like, how to get better performance, that's how I've done it. Right, let's take you down. I'm just hoping there's not two of these things there. I'm going to be screwed. Come on, go down. Don't you get... Sometimes they get a cheap shot. And when they climb up like that, I hate that. Got to keep moving back with the spear and you'll be good. Come on, big guy, go down. All right, he got a good enough hit on us where we're bleeding. There's plenty of stuff for me to use here to make rags, so we're okay. Let's keep slowly moving back. Oh, please go down. Don't really want to get any hits. Oh, I'm running out of room. There we go. Just rotate round. Oh, my God. There we go. Right. I can take my time now. It's so unnerving when you're doing just little things. Like, all I was doing then was just harvesting stuff from the other one. Because I needed a bone needle. And I could just hear her behind me growling in this room. <laughs> so off point. Oh, wait. Oh, that's where the torso went. I needed that. Okay, I'm going to make a quiver with this. 
I'm going to make some bow needles with this. That's interesting. The actual thread was 56%. But now I'm making the improvised sewing kit with the bow needle that I've just got. Is that going to take that up to 100? Oh, it does. I've never actually noticed that before. So that's cool. If you find it, even if it's a low integrity, keep hold of it. It's worth it. And now I can repair my pants. Let's go ahead and do that. That should take it like up to what? 50, 55%? Yeah, 50%. Okay, let's see what we're looking like now. We got the pants, which are 50% repaired. We got the hiking boots. The red raincoat, if that was green, we're almost there. And I want the black work pants too, not the blue ones. But I mean, they'll do for now. We've got a spear to protect us with. A shotgun that does need repairing, but it's something. And we've got the quiver for just extra space that I'm not using. I might actually keep my food and stuff in there for now. Yeah, let's just do that. So I'm separating everything and keep the cloth and everything else together. This is taking up quite a big chunk. And I only really needed that to build a fire with. So I don't know if I'm going to keep all of that for long. Right, let's just search this up. There's plenty of areas around here, like all these cabinets and stuff that I can search. Try and get some extra bits. Anything in this? Nope, nothing. Gonna have to check. Oh, a phone. Oh, okay, I can communicate with the traders now. So we have a rule in place that if you have a phone and any of the people at the traders that are working at the traders, they'll give you their number and you can communicate with them in side chat. So if I need anything, I can ask if they're there. <laughs> they might not always not answer, but I can ask if they're there. We'll see what we can get. Nice. I got the gloves too. Okay. The look's coming together. It's not the right stuff, but this is kind of how I want Eli to look. Once we get the shades and stuff on, we should be looking pretty good. Let's close the door up. Right. We just needed two more logs. One, two. There we go. And we'll light this thing up. Yeah, we're quite bright, but this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Let's take a little seat. Okay, I gotta take care of it. It's really, really unsettling when you're trying to relax and just go through stuff. Come on, then. Try and bring you into that doorway. Two. Oh, that was a miss. Nope. Don't you do it. There we go. Come on. There it is. All right, now I can search your room. I wouldn't mind something like a can opener i know i can easily get them over at the traders but if i can find one straight off the rip that would be so good because i do plan to hold on to like canned foods yeah no i'm not going to be using a mask can opener i'm trying to manifest it <laughs> the amount of times i've said that, that i need this item or i'm looking for this item and two seconds later i will find that item just because i've manifested it into existence it works guys you know it does and oh some more cash wait didn't we yeah, we had some before. 63. I don't think that's going to get us anything, but it's a start. Okay, so I did have a nap. And it wasn't a very long one, as you can see. It's still nighttime. <laughs> just been going around the... Uh the shoreline just seeing if we can find anything i just i don't know how many times i've said this but it would be genuinely so amazing if we could actually use these fishing crawlers or if there was like a finite amount of them on the island and go out and do some like shark fishing or something like that or you had to fix them up <laughs> i don't know why oh Let's see okay so we're good then right we got the, a little bit of fuel and oh, we could use this. Oh, we could definitely use that. All right, I'm going to check this first because that's where I was headed to. Oh, and the sun's coming up. So we're not in too much trouble, I think. I'm pretty sure the sun's coming up. It should be. Now, I haven't seen any of those things so far, which tells me either someone's been in the area or they're all doing that sleeping thing that they do. There's usually some at the back over there hiding. Oh, we're good. Make sure the entire place is clear before we start rummaging around. Yeah, we're good. Okay. That's nice. What is that? Flare cartridge. I'll keep hold of it. Again, anything at this point. Right. Let's see if we can get this thing going then. If we can, I'll be super lucky lucky with it. Right. Oh, oh, don't sink. No, no. Just behave. Oh, look at all that storage. Oh, yes. Give me right. I'm going to keep this on me. I'm going to put the cigarettes in there. The puppet eyes because I want to know how if they sell the glue. Uh, the flares, the fire starter can stay on me. The bandages can stay on me. The phone can stay in there. Uh, let's just put a couple of those in there too. Why not? All right, drive. Here we go. Right, moment of truth. Health is decent and the fuel is...
pretty much empty, but we can nurse this thing back to health. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Easy does it. Oh, that's so nice. Finding a boat there and being able to fuel it there. I have been told as well. I don't know how true this is. <laughs> I really don't. I don't really want to find out either. I've been told that people have been in boats before and sharks have actually knocked them upside down in them. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be taking my time when I'm on the water now knowing that because I don't know if it's true. <gasps> We're okay. My boat skills are not the best. Turn. Oh, turn. There we go. Relax. Stop there for a second. <sighs> Just going to let it settle. <laughs> This is my lifeline at the moment. Wait, no, no, no. We need to anchor this thing, right? No, it's anchored. Okay, right. Fill fuel. Come on, there we go. He's drinking it. Come on. Don't you sink. Don't you sink. Okay, perfect. Right. Let's get back on it. And there we go. Full fuel. Okay, I've just got to watch the health. And make sure that we don't get flipped by any sharks or anything. Is there a spot? That's a little bit more quiet. Well, over there we got an island. Is it worth checking? Quite far. Oh, there it is. It's just this one, isn't it? It's like in between. Wait, wasn't there like a little dock around here? Am I completely wrong with that? I could have swore there was. Oh, there it is. Okay. Because I saw the, uh, the railings for the stairs, but I couldn't find this. And this is nice too, because it's like hidden. Oh, there's another boat. And we can't sell boats yet, as far as I know, but when we can, this will be perfect. Just going to back this in. Let me make sure that this is... Oh, it's anchored. And we're good. Yeah, there's nothing in there, right? I know sometimes you can find those boxes. Is anybody using this? Let's have a quick check. This one's 50%. Oh, we might take this one then. Like, switch all the items over to that. Right, let's go and see if this lighthouse is clear and hopefully holding on to some items that we can use. Yeah, nobody's boarded this place up, so hopefully we get... Lo oh, there we go, jackpot. Those big juicy lava. Give them. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's been here. Or they're just being smart and not throwing, like, uh, barricades against the wall. Again, I've not heard any undead yet. Can't attempt it to save anybody's home. No, let's stay quiet for now. Come on, give me something good. I've been really... I mean, I say I've been unlucky. I found, like, a compass and stuff, so I don't know if that sells well. And the uh, the ammunition, like, the flares and things. I could, um... I could be in luck with what we find. Oh, give me that. Yes, equip that. And hold on to it for now. I like messing around with my layers that I'm wearing, so... I always change my clothing. So anything with clothes, I'm going to hold on to. I can't imagine that the clothing will be expensive. It's just something that, you know, you're just going to prioritize to make your character look cool. But, oh, give me that. That's going to sell for a pretty penny. Sure of it. Like, the building stuff. That's what was in my uh, in my mind when I first thought about the traders. Like, the building things. Nails and stuff. If you have a whole bunch of that, you might be able to make a little bit of money from it. Oh, nothing. Oh, my God. Coming down. Too stupid, aren't you? I've got you in the corner. You should be easy enough to take down. Let's keep hitting those headshots. Nope. Not dead yet. You see that little run and the swipe that they do? Oh, that's so dangerous. I think it sounded like there was one, maybe two more in the area. There could have been a few sleeping outside as well. Give me the cash. I'm going to leave everything else. Ooh, do I want to do this? Last time I climbed one of these, there was nothing up top and it really wasn't worth it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I um, I fell through the stairs last time and I do not want that to happen to Eli. <laughs> he must be protected at all costs. And there's no other rooms. No boxes to check. Yeah, we're good. All right. I was kind of a bust, but... At least I know now that nobody's really using this, and it might be, or it could potentially be, a place that we call home. So with that said, 
I guess we're going to make our quick first stop to the traders. The sun hasn't gone down yet. Maybe it was coming up. It's still morning time. Got it wrong. But yeah, we're going to make a quick trip to the uh, to the traders. Hopefully sell some things. I don't think... I can't imagine that we're going to get a lot of money for what we've got, though. Yeah, we've been, we've been looting for like... It seems like half a day. Not even, because we were, we were looting at night time, too. And I didn't even pick that town clean. Just wanted to get what we could. Let me have a look at these two. So what's this one at? 31? Yeah, I'm more comfortable with switching these over. Let me do that real quick. I've decided to be smart about this and try and get a tiny bit closer. <laughs> it's not worth falling into the water. There we go. Can we climb straight here? There, that's perfect. It's not worth risking it. it really isn't. Just falling into the water takes too long and it messes you up, especially if you're getting attacked. Ooh, a toolbox. It's a random toolbox found in a car. Okay. Note to self, check everything now, because it seems like there's just stuff littered everywhere. A knife, too. We'll hold on to that. One man's trash is another... Again, I, th I keep thinking that's a scope. One man's trash is another man's treasure, right? <laughs> I mean, we found stuff there that we could potentially sell, so it's worth it to us. Even if it's, like, worth next to nothing, it's more than we had before. And last but not least, let's just check on the top of it. But, I mean, so far, so good. That is a really good haul. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, what is it? Oh, it's an 80. I don't think I've got the strength for that. Eli definitely uses a bow. Oh, yeah, I've not got the strength for that. Wait, what do I need? Do I need a toolbox in order to set that for my own strength? Is it worth me trying that, or is that just with a compound bow? Ooh, I don't know. Let me, um, let me mess around with that, because... I'm pretty sure you can set... I'm, I'm sure it said you can set more than one bow with a toolbox for the poundage that you can actually do. Yeah, no, it's just got the option to repair it. What does it need? Does it take any of this? 32 out of 50. And then I'm checking this as well. Okay, yeah, it did it use that. Okay, it's time. We're going to go over to the traders and I'm going to see what I can get for the small amount of loot that we've got. We should at least be creeping up to a couple of hundred as a minimum. I can get like a decent backpack, maybe. If not, I'm just going to hold on to the cash. Maybe there's a survivor around that I can negotiate with because we are doing uh, player trading too. We are allowed to do that. We just can't build inside of a traders unless you get special permission. So if there's something that I have and they need or the other way around and hopefully we can make something happen. Trade. 210. Ooh, okay. Yeah, no, we'll sell that straight away. And he's got 72,000 credits to trade with. So he's got a fair amount of money. We can do a little bit of this. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what we got. $9 for the soda. See, that, that is absolutely terrible because if we're to buy one from him, it'll probably be like 300. So keeping hold of this is so worth it. Even if it's just to fill with water, I'm absolutely not letting go of that. Six dollars for gunpowder? Is that all you're going to give me? Okay, sell. Let's see what you have. Yeah, let's itemize everything. <laughs> let's see what you have. Gunpowder. The duct tape I'm going to get rid of. The flare. The glue is only two? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're not we're not going to hit big here with this. The saw. I mean, let's just get rid of it. 185 for a tool. No, I'm keeping all of that. What else we got? 82 for the gloves. That's not bad. And nine dollars for the puppet eyes. That's 18 together. 11. For the cigarettes, I thought they'd be worth way more. 181 for the compass, which is nice. 26 for the uh, the busted up knife. 110 for the phone. No, I'm keeping that though. The wire was 30. I thought that'd be worth more. Another $8 for the glue. 27 for the canned baked beans. I was sure that'd be worth more. And I'm keeping the lock. Right, let's see what we got. 442 sell. So that takes us to a total of 828 now. Just going to drop the bow. Let's see. I've that dropped the 500. Reasons, obviously. See, so yeah, that's maximum price too because it's 100%. So that thing registered. sell. And that takes us back oh, 1,500 near enough. Okay, so I just saw the other hoodie that we were wearing and I'm going to keep this because it's got more space anyway. But let's have a look at the processed foods. Oh, 400, 500, 300. Yeah, this is kind of what I expected because food's going to be in short supply, especially stuff like this. Okay, so I think because I need the space right now, I can't really pick and choose what I'm wearing, how my character looks, you know, with the backpacks and stuff. Eli definitely uses a smaller one. But I think we're going to use this one just to make sure we can hold as much as possible, at least for the first few days. So let's buy that. 
<laughs> 324 left. Okay, what's in our normal backpack? Let's throw... Oh, we can't do that. Okay, let's equip it. And anything in here. The soda and the can opener. Let's just put that in there. So I'll rip it up for rags later. All right, nice doing business with you. Let's see how we're looking. Got a nice big backpack now. Our stomach's full. And we're ready to go on another adventure. Was that him? Is either something breathing or him saying see ya? Let me just quickly see how much the vehicles are. Because I know we pumped the price of them. Like I was saying to you guys. How's it going, old timer? Right. Why? And Eli definitely rocks a bike. I think I'm going to go for this one. Or this one. 30,000 a piece. Ooh, the sport bike. <laughs> That's death if I get that. Yeah, okay. And the vehicles... 50,000. Okay, that's actually cheaper than what I thought we were going to put it to, so that's okay. It's going to take a little bit of grinding, but that's absolutely fine. If we take on a military bunker, which I'm told the military loot is where it's at for making money on this, we should be okay. Maybe if I can, like, buddy up with someone who's up for taking a bunker down, that could work too. I've got to try and make sure that I'm being careful near the uh, traders too, because we've shortened the circle on where the safe zone is, so just because we're here doesn't mean we're necessarily safe. All right, guys, so I think this is where we're going to end it. Part number one of a brand new season. If you're excited, drop a like below. It just lets me know you want to see more. Subscribe if you are new to keep up to date with everything. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see or things we could do with our brand new character, Eli, remember, this is inspiration taken from Eli from the movie, but I am obviously going to put my own touch on it too. We're getting thirsty and hungry. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to have to go straight into it. But if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments and maybe we'll throw it into the episodes. But for now, like I say, this is where we're going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.